This is Larry Anglosano for Aviation Consumer Magazine. Scottsdale, Arizona-based TKM Avionics has been busy designing a modern new slide-in replacement radio for the Bendix King KX-155 and KX-165 Navcom, and they unveiled it at Sun and Fun 2017 in Lakeland, Florida. They expect to deliver the radio this coming summer. Here's TKM's Vic Casebolt with a demo. All right, hi guys. We're here at Sun and Fun 2017, and uh, we've got an exciting new product to introduce here. It is a plug-and-play uh, KX-155-165 replacement that's uh, designed to fit the um, existing rack and connectors, and uh, we're really excited about this radio. Um, we've got all modern electronics and um, a beautiful touchpoint display, and I think you guys will be really impressed with the, uh, the quality of this radio. Um, it's a very simple display. You've got your standby and your active. The top is your comm and the bottom is your nav, as well as a page button that's going to get you into the menu. Um, there's no, no physical buttons, just all the touch points and then the, uh, these two knobs, with your top being your master volume, and the bottom being your selector and, um, and your enter. So for dialing in a frequency, we're just going to touch the standby frequency. Now you're ready to dial in your megahertz, enter, dialing in your kilohertz, enter one more time, and then we use this arrow for flip-flop. It's so very easy to use. The next cool feature of this radio is going to be the uh, actually built-in VOR we've got on the display here. You can set your heading. And a little left-right indicator will pop up in the middle there. So in your left of your, of your center, you're going to have more segments show up to the left there and, and vice versa for the right. This page button will get you to your memory. So let's go and, and edit a com memory. Um, we've actually got user-defined channel codes here, so this, this first memory slot's been defined as STL. Um, you've got up to 40 codes you can, you can uh, store here, or 40 memory slots that can have codes attached to them. Um, so let's go and, and edit our, our second memory here. Click that, and then it's going to be the same as, as dying in your channel as, uh, previously. Over to kilohertz, and now we're ready to flip-flop. So it's easy as that. The next cool feature of this radio is going to be the uh, actually built-in VOR we've got on the display here. You can set your heading. And a little left-right indicator will pop up in the middle there. So this KX-155-165 replacement will drive all of the existing equipment that, that your current radio is using. You know, you've got your K, KI-209 hooked up. This will, this will drive that, that indicator without uh, changing any existing wiring. It can all stay the same. It's, uh, it's really just plug and play. We've got your separate volume adjustments between your comm and your nav. And you'll see the, uh, the blue segments on the bottom correspond to the volume level. Um, we've also got all digital adjustments here for your squelch, which should be convenient. Um, brightness level. You can monitor your transmitter output, um, as well as we've got some faults here. Um, for instance, one will be the antenna connection of, of your aircraft. It'll, it'll help us de determine if it's a, uh, you're having a problem with your radio or a problem with your, um, you know, your antenna connection. So that, that'll help us troubleshoot and, and get through any problems we may be having. We've also got our channel spacing here. We've got 25 kilohertz and also introducing the 833 kilohertz for the uh, EASA mandate that's coming into effect in January 1. 2018. The MX-155 can be installed by the owner pilot with just a simple entry of the logbook. Um, we'll be releasing this product in summer 2017 and uh, we're looking to keep it in line with our current products uh, around $3,000. Uh, you can find out more information at tkmavionics.com.